Hello, welcome to uh, Earth Engine Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate lane cover area, uh, in, basically individual lane cover types. Uh, so let me show you an example. Um, Google Earth Engine has a lot of uh, lane cover uh, data set. So look at this one, right? Uh, if you're trying to calculate maybe uh, the area of water, the area of uh, forest, uh, vegetation, urban area, right? You can calculate. Uh, for any reason uh, for at a global scale. So this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, it's kind of similar to some of the uh, previous tutorial, for example, the zonal statistics. But uh, in that case, you have to provide an ROI. Um, so the example we're going to do that is that you don't need to provide an ROI. Uh, you, you can provide if you want. If you don't, it's going to use just the entire uh, area. So basically entire image. And so next, let's get started. So first go to the GMAP website to download the notebook example. So uh, gmap.org and then notebooks. Control end and then go to the end. So 113. And then from there, download the notebooks to my computer. And then just open uh, your uh, Anaconda prompt or the terminal. And then Conda uh, activate Geo uh, Jupyter Lab to open the notebooks. Uh, so this is a quite uh, simple and uh, straightforward example. and uh, we're going to have two uh, two examples. The first one is using the ESA uh, global lane cover 10 meter resolution. So let me uh, execute and just show you the data set. Uh, so first one is at a global scale. So this is the lane cover data set. Right? We have, uh, I think, um, 10 uh, lane cover types. So from here, what we're trying to do is to calculate the area or the percentage of uh, each lane cover type. So for example, I'm going to calculate the Total area of forest, uh, total area of uh, open water, vegetation, grass, something like that. So I'm going to show you how I can do that just using one line of code. So in GMAP, I just added a new function, image area by group. So if you want to look at the help documentation, put your cursor within the function and then press uh, shift tab on your keyboard to bring up the documentation. So the first one is the image. And... Um, Second one is the groups. Basically, uh, what kind of lane cover type you are focusing on. Uh, you can, if you don't specify, it's going to use all the lane cover types, but you can specify, for example, first one, second one, uh, whatever you like. And the reason, uh, if you, for example, I just want to draw, you can simply draw a rectangle on the map and then just calculate uh, the lane cover type if you want. Also the scale. So this one is very important. In this example, we're going to use 1000. Basically is one kilometer. But the data set is 10 meter resolution, so it's much uh, finer resolution. But you don't want to use 10 because it's going to take a, a, a while to get the results. So in this example, it's going to use uh, 1000. And the denominator uh, is to convert the unit. So by default, um, the unit in area will be square meter. So because this is at the global scale, the, the number will be huge. So you can divide it by a uh, um, number so this one here divided by 1 million that means a square meter um, divided by 1 million you're going to get uh, converted to square kilometer okay and so the next one is out csv if you want to save the result as a csv you can specify uh, if not you will be returned as a pandas data frame so i'm going to show you later and also the labels label means uh, you can in the data frame you can add another column to indicate the label. So just like in here, the value 10 represents trees, right? Uh, 20 swap length, right? You, because in the column, it was just uh, one column is just the value. The next column, if you don't provide labels, you can do that. Also, the decimal places by default uh, is four. That means, uh, so uh, if you want to be more precise, you can increase the decimal places uh, or you can just uh, zero or one, whatever you like. The last one is verbals, whether you want to see the detailed discre uh, uh, progress uh, when the program is running or not. So let me run this one first, just to show you the result, right? You see it, it's pretty quick. Uh, so three or four seconds, then you get the result. So it's going to calculate one type by one, one by one. So calculate for group 10, that means uh, calculating three, right? And then move to the next one. Um, so here, um, this one basically is a string, so it's 110, uh, 100, it's not number, so you see it's not by, the or by order, but you get the results, so this is a, a data frame, and so you, the second column 
is the area right how big is the uh, the lake land cover type and also the percentage right so 29 percent uh is uh 10 the present trees right so the biggest percentage is 29 percent uh trees since it's, it is a C, uh, uh, pandas data frame, you can save this one as a CSV you, if you want. So uh, shift enter, and then on the left side here, double click, you can open the CSV, right? So here, the group, um, we have 10 classes and its area. Again, this one here, you will see the decimal places, like four. Uh, all the decimal places are four. And if you increase, you can decrease uh, whatever you want. And the third column is the percentage, right? How big? Uh, of each lane cover type uh, accounts for the total lane area, right? So the biggest would be uh, 10, so this one is 3, and then the next one is 60 and 80, right? 60, uh, what's 60? 60, 60 uh, barren uh, sparse vegetation, and uh, 80 uh, is open water, so, right? So this is how you can calculate uh, the lane cover type by each area. So earlier I mentioned that uh, you can specify groups. Um, depends on what lane cover type you're interested in. Sometimes if you're not interested in all of them, uh, you can also just um, but say the as default, it's going to get you all of them. But if I only interested in a specific type, so for example, I can group equal to square brackets. And they say I want to look at vegetation. How about this? I just want 10, 20, and 30. Uh, you can do that just 10, comma, 20, comma, 30. That's it. And then shift enter. So here, now it only returns the results, just three rows, so 10, 20, 30. Um, the areas remain the same because the area is absolute number. And the percentage will change because right now we are only considering these three types as 100%. So now this one accounts for 50% and the other 50% come from the other two uh, link cover types. So this is how easy it is you can calculate the area. Again, here we don't provide any ROI, we don't provide any polygon, it just use the entire image, right? And then just using this one line of code. Alright, so that's the uh, global scale example. The next one I'm going to show you is the uh, US example. So this is the uh, NLCD, National Land Cover Database. And it has a lot more uh, land cover types. So the example is quite similar, right? You can get the image. And then add the image to the map and then lastly uh, we add the legend so the legend here right built in also the height so the height means um you can change the height of this legend uh, because by default i think it's 400 and it won't show all the land cover types Oop. uh oh 400 px i believe all right so if it is smaller then it's going to show you a, a scroll bar uh, so if you want to show off them, then you can increase the number. So next, I'm just, it's the same thing, right? We're just going to calculate uh, the lane cover type. So the first one is the lane cover. And then the, again, the scale, also the denominator divided by 1 million. So we're going to get a square kilometer. Uh, keep the three decimal places. Let me try this one, for example. I just want three. And take a look. So again, it's going to calculate the area for all the land cover types, right? Area percentage, right? And similarly, just save this one as a CSV. NLCD, open, take a look, right? 10, 20, all the way. Get the area, and also get the percentage. So see how quickly it is. Uh, if you're just trying to download this data set, it's uh, many, many gigabytes. So you know, it'll take you a while uh, to download. And then if you're using traditional desktop GS uh, packages to calculate uh, the percentage it's going to take you a while but uh, this one as I'm showing here only takes you uh, just a couple seconds uh, again here uh, you can specify for example I want to look at a specific group I can do that as well so uh, for example I want to look at the uh, just the build up area uh, you are focusing on just the build up area you'll be 21 all the way to 24 so you don't care about others then you can see this do it here so i can 21 22 23 24 and then shift enter take a look so now we have this just four classes four length cover types and you can look at which one uh, takes up the biggest percentage 
right 32 uh, 34 percent uh, 22 right so it'll be low density medium density and high density so you can quickly see the composition of each lane cover type again if you are if you don't want to look at return this one as a um a pandas data frame you can just directly as a save as a csv so from here i can just add the last parameter here out uh, csv equal to we can see we have nlcd dot csv shift enter uh, it's going to show you the same thing right and then double click so you get the same results and what else um you can also specify label right so link cover uh here basically you have the labels and so if you want i can do like labels let me put it up here so here the so labels uh so labels will be also a list right so you'd be for example um open space oh. open space and then the second one will be uh low density for example oh. and comma here so it will be low uh medium and then high density so now we can pass in the label to the function so that uh, the output csv also has that column right so uh, yeah i can just pass into the last one here labels uh, e -L, equal to labels and then shift enter oops what happened oh uh then i think that's about all the function i might need to revise because um the label is not a string so something is wrong uh with the function anyway uh in that case you can uh, manually uh, add the uh the label if you want so let me see what else you can uh the last one is also the verbal so if you don't for example i don't uh i don't want to see the description uh when it's running i can set this one to to force so it won't show you anything just uh, return the outputs and then you can uh, save the pandas uh, data frame to a csv or you can use that to pass into other program if you want okay so uh, that's all for uh, this video i uh, see you see you in the next uh, next one take care bye bye